Today's thumbnail is there's never time to do it right, but always time to do it over. Every time I get in this tractor, I spend 10, 15 minutes airing up this tire. Why? I just never take the time to fix this. So today's the day. You can see you got a little hole here. Whenever we started this YouTube channel, it was a complete land restoration. This tractor was brand new and we cut down a ton of trees. So it's nice about having equipment with buckets on it instead of getting jacks and stuff out i'll drop this front bucket down to hoist the machine up and then we'll rotate that tire to get it in a good working area So this is one of those old fiber plugs. Fortunately, that's all I have up here again. I'm not a big fan of those, but so we're gonna use this kit here. Try to ream that out first. Let's see what we can't do here. Put them safety glasses on in case something blows out towards me here. Tricks to get it nice and clean. Make sure there's no debris and stuff in there. Could have been a piece of stick or something stuck in there. It's a nice, nice size hole. I was pretty bummed out about it. This truck had like five hours on it when this happened. So I'm gonna get another fiber plug here. And then try to get it inside this. Push the pin here. So you pull it 50-50. Something like that. And there's this lube. Try to get it on here. I like the gluing ones. I just, up here on the farm, I don't have anything like that. Down the shop we do, so hopefully this holds until we get the hay fields cut down for winter. So you pulled out real quick so it releases so since that's such a big hole and it's kind of like on the side of the tire i'm gonna try to get another one in beside it here so what i did is went and got a flat tip screwdriver spread that little clip so i get that tire plug in there a little bit easier this time same thing 50 50 it Lube on it. I'm gonna try to get this in beside there without pushing the other plug in. It's pushing the other plug in, so. Oh, perfect. So I pulled up quick. Then the trick. To this once you got all this stuff out is air up the tire so we'll make sure we got the right amount of air in there first see what we got here. so there's 23 pounds in there so somewhere i seen on this tire here it said that actually says 23 pounds so these are ag tires so they don't call for a lot so that's that's actually good enough for right now and then i'm gonna go over and trim this off so get a utility blade with a nice sharp blade try to cut that down so whenever you turn you don't grab these and, and rip it out i'd love to get these tires foam filled but it's big bucks but 
these punctures are going to be too bad. I might have to. All right, guys, here you go. Let's get some soap, test it. No leaks. So that's your tip of the day. Don't procrastinate, just fix it. I've aired this up at least five times over the course of this year. Every time I needed to move it, the tire was flat. 10, 15 minutes, starting up the air compressor, putting air in it. I fixed it in 15 minutes. So there you go. Never time to do it right, but there's always time to do it over. Catch you on the next one.